speak to him and say, it's happening now. Well, praise the Lord. I'm not going to preach to you. I just want to say a few words to you this morning. Uh, my respects to each and every one of you. I want us to understand that we are in the upper room. Mm. Glory to God. Mm. The place where the New Testament church began. Amen. This is the place where Jesus told his disciples before or just after him is a section he told them. He said, listen, remain in Jerusalem. Tarry here in Jerusalem until you would have been endured with power from on high. In other words, Jesus said, you, you really cannot be my witness until you have been endured with, power. with the power. Yes. And not only with the twelve apostles, but the scripture tells us that there were 120 gathered uh -huh. right here in this upper room, men and women, glory be to God. And they were here in supplication, fasting, and praying for 10 days. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. After his uh, ascension. Yes. Glory to God. And, it, and the scripture tells us in the book of Acts, chapter 2. And verse 1 it says, And then the day of Pentecost was fully come. They were all in one accord. In one place, and suddenly there appeared unto them cold tongues, like as of fire. Or somebody gotta say fire. Fire. And it's upon each of them, fire of God. Hallelujah. The fire of God sat upon each of them. And the word of the Lord says, and they all began to speak. To your heart, read out the tongues as the Spirit of the Lord read out the hours. Hallelujah. And you got to understand, even as the fire is and they begin to speak with other tongues. Glory to God, the whole body. And 19 begin to speak in all the different languages that were present. Because you understand this was a feast time and all the nations were present. But there was this old man by the name of Peter yeah. who stood up and said, uh, uh, This is for all of you and for your children and for your children's children and as many as the Lord your God shall call. In other words, what Peter said is the Holy Ghost, the speaking of tongues, this Pentecostal is for all. We need the fire. We need the Holy Ghost. 
more power. To rise up. To rise up. On the resurrection. On the day of the ah. What is it over here? On that day when the trumpet of the Lord to I'm talking about the rapture trees. I'm talking about the rapture. We need the power of the Holy Ghost to rise up. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, we were just ended in the upper room. Of course, this site officially uh, closes our tour. Uh, this is the last spot that we will uh, be taking in now. And so certainly we hope you've enjoyed all these things that we've brought to you. And uh, certainly we look forward to have you joining us on one of these tours uh, at another time and opportunity.